Chapter 10, Problem 2. x is equal to t cubed plus 1. y is equal to 3t squared minus 4. In order to find the second derivative, we of course need to find the first derivative. So y prime, written as dy dx, is a formula that looks like dy dt over dx dt, which kind of makes a little bit of sense because those dt's could cross out, leaving dy dx. Then in order to find the second derivative, just as you did back in Calc 1, y double prime is the derivative of the first derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of y prime with respect to t, because we have this distinct equations, over dx dt. So first we'll find the first derivative. y prime is dy dt over dx dt. So looking up above, dy dt is the derivative of that y part of the parametric equation. So that gives you the derivative of 3t squared minus 4, which is 6t. dx dt, looking at the x portion, which is t cubed plus 1 dx dt is 3t squared. It's also really a good idea to simplify these things for the second step. So 6 over 3 is certainly 2. You have a t on top, a t squared on the bottom, that's t. And again, I would bring it up so you don't have a fraction to get 2t to the negative 1. Now in order to find the second derivative, we have to find the derivative of the derivative with respect to t over dx dt. So y prime was 2t minus 1. So the derivative of that would be kicking your power out front. You get negative 2t, drop your power down 1, negative 2t to the negative 2. Again, dx dt is just going to be repeated at 3t squared. Simplifying that by taking t to the negative 2 down to the denominator, you get negative 2 over 3t to the fourth. So we have y double prime is equal to negative 2 over 3t to the fourth. And uh, part A is to put a t is equal to 0 in there, so we get negative 2 over 0, which is undefined. t is equal to 3, you get negative 2 over 3 times 3 to the 4th, which turns out to be negative 2 over 243. Now part C is a little different. I'm not giving you the t value, I'm giving you the ordered pair, 2 comma negative 1, which of course is x comma y. So we bring back our parametric equations x is equal to t cubed plus 1, y is equal to 3t squared minus 4, and we know that we're looking for a t value that will generate that point. And that's pretty easy to see if you take a look. If you let t be 1, you would get 1 cubed plus 1 is 2, and down below for y, you'd have 3 times 1 squared minus 4 is negative 1. So the value that we need to use here is t is equal to 1. So we just plug in a 1 for t, and y double prime is negative 2, over 3 times t, which is 1, to the fourth power, and the second derivative at that point, 2 negative 1, is negative 2 thirds.